The mobile phone is an essential part of our lives. We use it every single day and we cannot live without it. However, the excessive use of the mobile phone has resulted in a new disorder, mobile phone addiction. So, what is addiction? Addiction is the inability to stop doing something, especially harmful things. Mobile phone addiction is hence the obsessive use of mobile phones for various purposes, such as texting and watching videos. Mobile phone addiction can be identified with increased screen time spent on mobile phones. In 2015, a study done by global research consultancy TNS found that Singaporeans aged from 16 to 20 spend an average of 3.4 hours a day on their mobile phones, more than the global average of 3.2 hours. With the growing reliance on technology and addictive nature of online contents, more Singaporean teenagers nowadays are becoming victims of mobile phone addiction, which has negatively impacted their lives. Teenagers tend to lack self-regulation and self-control, further enhancing the effect. As we go down the rabbit hole of smartphone addiction, an unimaginable amount of damage is being done. Research done by Ariel University in Israel found that mobile phone addiction leads to comorbidity with depression, anxiety, OCD, ADHD and alcohol use disorder, among the many other damaging and long-lasting impacts caused by smartphone addiction. Adrian Wong, a psychiatrist at the Glen Eagles Medical Center, stressed that mobile phone addiction should be classified as a psychiatric disorder. He recalled having treated an 18-year-old male student who was unshaven, skinny, hadn't showered for days, and looked like a homeless man. The boy even came to blows with his father after he tried to take away the young man's laptop computer. After the father cut off internet access in the house, desperation drove the boy to hang around neighbors' homes trying to get a wireless connection. At the very least, smartphone addiction dwindles our ability to focus. How do I get better at this mobile game? What is my favorite influencer going to post next? These questions will constantly pop into our heads as we carry out our daily activities and they can be so extensive that we are unable to do anything productive. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2018 found that frequent smartphone usage increased the risk of having ADHD symptoms by 10%. Mobile phone addiction will also disrupt the quantity and quality of our sleep. It is not uncommon for addicts to scroll for what seems like an instant on social media just to realize that a few hours of precious sleep time had passed. A survey conducted by NUS discovered that 4 in 10 Singaporeans are not getting enough sleep due to being addicted to their smartphones. Moreover, the high-frequency blue light emitted by smartphones restrains the production of melatonin, the hormone that controls our sleep-wake cycle. Using your smartphone for just 30 minutes before bedtime results in a 50% chance of poor sleep quality. To add on, a study done by Dr. Larry Rosen, professor of the psychology department at California State University, found that 50% of young adults get up at night to check their phones, which disrupts the sleep. Lack of sleep is a major cause of many mental disorders, like depression, and can eventually lead to suicide. A study by Pew Research Center in 2012 found that teenagers who spent 5 or more hours a day on their phones were 71% more likely than those who spent less than an hour a day to have at least one suicide risk factor. He conducted an interview with a former smartphone addict in class for F. I first obtained my mobile phone in secondary one. I was extremely addicted to it. I would scroll through social media for hours on end, and immediately after that, switched to building my Minecraft world. I felt lethargic throughout most school days, and was completely unable to focus. Evidently, we cannot ignore this issue. After all, do we want ourselves to become slaves of technology? Do we want to become mindless zombies who use their phones 24-7? Do we want to face depression? Of course not! Therefore, we teenagers must do what we can to fight mobile phone addiction. 
Number one, shift distracting apps like Facebook and Instagram to the second page of apps or remove them from the home screen entirely. You can even delete these apps and use their browser versions if possible. All this makes it more inconvenient to access these apps, discouraging you from doing so. Number two, monitor screen time. Apps like Quality Time and Moments keep track of how long you use your mobile device and which apps you use most. Even iOS and Android have come up with their own screen time trackers. All these make you more aware of the time you spend on your phone. If you lack the self-discipline to set a time limit yourself, ask your parents to help you. Number 3. Engage in more physical activities like cycling and football. This shifts your attention away from your phone, reducing your reliance on it. A study found that exercise can reduce addiction by 62%. Remember, it's not hard to stop using your phone for long periods of time. Start the fight against mobile phone addiction now!